I have a document open here called Shoreline, which you'll find from the info folder. There isn't anything particularly wrong with this image. It's just that if we want to create additional visual interest and achieve a better composition, the subjects would ideally be not in the center of the image, but a third of the way in from the edge in what's called a rule of thirds. Now that's a relatively easy thing to do in Photoshop with a crop tool. So I'll head towards the tools panel and the fifth tool down is the crop tool. Now, if it's not visible, you can click and hold down on that tool with the left mouse button and reveal a pop out of all the other tools that are similar in nature. I'll click on the crop tool. Make sure that the uh, crop itself is set to ratio, which will allow us to be able to alter the width and height as we see fit. Do make sure there's nothing in the two fields above the top, which is to set the dimensions for the width and height. We don't need that. If there is, you can click on the clear button. And then under the delete crop pixels, which is a default option, I would suggest turn that off in this scenario. And we can also turn off content aware. I'll go to the grid menu, click and hold down. And then from here, choose rule of thirds. Now that grid will not appear until you start dragging across the image. So ideally I'm going to hover my cursor over the middle left hand handle of the crop frame. Once I then click and hold down the mouse and keep it held down and drag, you'll see that rule of thirds grid appear. So what we need to do is I'm going to drag across the right hand side and I want that line marking one third of the way into the image from the left hand side to reside just between those two people. Once I'm happy with that, I can go up to the top, click on the tick to apply that. Now, the reason why we turned off the checkbox for delete crop pixels is because what well, is a permanent edit. If at some point in the future you wanted to retrieve that part of the image, well, by turning off delete crop pixels, you can always go to image and then choose reveal all. It's only been hidden. It hasn't been deleted permanently. So when I click on that, it reinstates what the image looked like before. Yes, it'll add a little bit of image size because it's still got to store that data in the file, but it certainly gives you more flexibility. If there's one thing I've learned about Photoshop over the years, you need flexibility because it's very unforgiving. I will just go to the edit menu and choose undo reveal. I'll go to the file menu and then I'll save this. And from here, I'll go up a level back into our Photoshop intro folder and then head into working. And we have the default file format now of .psd because we've released the original artwork from its background and JPEG files cannot store floating artwork released from their background or more than one layer. So notice down here under format, it reads Photoshop and I'll click save from there. If you see this message that pops up on screen, well, you can choose don't show again, but to maximize file compatibility is simply telling us that it's going to save this version of the Photoshop file in the PSB format. And now that will increase the file size slightly, but it will allow someone in an older version of Photoshop to be able to open up this document in their older version and edit it uh, as they see fit really. Um, so I will leave that turned on for maximize compatibility and then click okay.